A gentlelady from California is recognized for one and a half minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in opposition to H.R. 1120, the Republican plan to shut down the NLRB. This plan is just the latest in a seemingly unending series of Republican attacks on working people. Make no mistake, the real goal of this legislation is to attack workers' rights. This bill will make it harder for workers and employers to settle disputes. It will essentially end the National Labor Relations Board's ability to hear cases until the Senate confirms the President's NLRB nominees. And we all know that that deliberative body is often better at obstruction than getting the people's business done. Instead of trying to shut down the NLRB, shouldn't my colleagues on the other side of the aisle be calling on the Senate to have an up or down vote on the President's nominees for the NLRB? Allow me to separate fact from fiction. This bill is not about certainty. This bill is about making it harder for working people to have their voices and their cases heard. This bill is not about making the NLRB function efficiently. This bill is a partisan move to gut the NLRB's implementation of the law. After all, if you fire all the judges, there's nobody there to hear your, your case. Once again, the Republican leadership has decided to waste time making political points at the expense of working class Americans. We should be working on legislation to grow jobs. The American people are sick of politics. They want Congress to work on creating jobs and economic certainty. What our Republican friends are giving the American people today is more of an assault on workers' rights. This legislation doesn't do anything to help the 23 million Americans looking for good paying jobs. Vote no on this turkey of a piece of legislation. What purpose,